Ladies and gents, today we have a bit of a different video and that's because we aren't doing anything to the Clio or the BMW or Boris the Micro. And that's because, ladies and gents, I have bought yet again another car. Now, I can see you all face palming through the camera because I've got two ongoing projects, the race car Clio and the budget BMW. So why have I bought another car? Now, to be frank, I had to buy this car. There was no way I couldn't buy it. It's in such good condition. It was so cheap and it's a serious opportunity to make some good money. Now, as you've seen from the title, the aim of this video is to see if we can flip this car, which I bought for £170 for a crazy profit. So without further ado, take a look at the new car. So yes, I bought a Mark IV Voxel Astra. Let me show you around the car. Now, starting off at the front of this Astra, we have some paintwork which needs fixing. I think this will come up with a polish though. It's very faded, it's sun damaged, but I do believe we'll be able to get it looking brand new. We do also have some yellow headlights, which again, I think we'll just need a polish to make those look perfect. The wheels have seen better days. I think these are savable. A bit of acid um, to kind of clean these, I think we'll get them looking brand new as well. The interior is actually mint. Now, you're gonna have to look past all of the stains and all of the dirt. There is actually nothing that is damaged apart from maybe the kind of leather gear knob thingamajig there's a name for that and I can't remember it in the back of the interior we have lots of dog hair which is beautiful the petrol cap for some reason hasn't had any sun damage which is a bit weird we've got rear lights which completely work by the way indicators brake lights reverse lights all of it works which is great and for that matter every single piece of electronicness in this car works. So that is pretty unbelievable for 170 pounds. As we move round to this side of the car, we have a rather large dent. It's, it's a bit of a big dent, whether I find a new door or whether we decide to try and pull this out. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that does need fixing to up the value of this car. There's a kind of, kind of an overall gist of this thing. It's just, it's just a bit, a bit rough around the edges. It needs a bit of TLC, but once we've kind of cleaned it all up and polished it, I think we could get more than a grand for this car. Now, before we start with the restoration, let's take this Astra out for a little test drive. Guys, I, I'm gonna, gonna let you into a little secret. These cars are quite possibly the best dailies ever. This thing works perfectly. Everything about it works perfectly. The gearbox feels smooth. It doesn't feel clunky. There's no funny noises that come from it. The suspension feels really nice. A little bit floaty, but if you are using this car for a daily, which I imagine the next owner will be doing, it's, it's a perfect suspension setup for a daily driver. We do also have power steering and the brakes as well, another talking point. These brakes are unbelievable. This car was 170 pounds and it stops on a dime. I, I, I'm just, I'm in shock. Even the engine pulls well. <laughs> it's actually pretty quick. It's a 1.8 litre naturally aspirated engine and it's 22 years old and it still pulls pretty well. I imagine this car has over 100 horsepower, although I don't actually know. I don't know any of the performance stats on this car, but that's not the reason you buy it. You buy it for a reliable, comfortable, economical daily with loads of space, it's practical and everything works. Literally everything. All of the electronics, my electric windows work, my AC works, let me put my AC on. Freezing cold air, I mean, <laughs> can you believe this? Am I, am I getting too excited about this car? 170 pound and everything works. I mean, is that is that pretty rare? I, I think this is pretty rare. You, you, now, you now understand why I love this car so much and why I had to buy it. Let's get it back in the unit and start with the restoration. Now guys, before we start, I wanna show you the Vauxhall Astra whiteboard. So we've got basically all of the money that we've spent on the car so far listed on this whiteboard. It comes to around 215 pounds so far, including petrol and insurance. So I'm gonna keep this up to date throughout the video if we do spend any more money so that we can find out the profit that we've made at the end of the video. With that said, let's get cracking. So the obvious first step with this Astra was to give it a good clean and especially to see if I could get those wheels looking as good as new. 
spot on. After finishing the exterior of the Astra, I could then move on to the interior, which was absolutely disgusting. It was filthy. There was dirt in every nook and cranny. There was dog hair all over the back seat and the boot was an absolute mess. It definitely needed some seeing too. Now to finish off the clean, we have got three things to do. Firstly, I'm going to spray the interior with some cloudburst to make it smell absolutely gorgeous. And that car is, is very bad smelling, so it needs quite a bit of it. And it's gonna eliminate all of the odors in there, which is very good. So the next job is replacing these windscreen wipers, this piece of rubber used to be on there, but it's fallen off now. So these are bloody useless. Let's get the new ones on. The final job that we are going to do before we start polishing the paintwork is a headlight restoration. So what we're going to do is just go over this headlight with the polisher to get rid of this yellow cloudy color. So after polishing both headlights, this is what it looked like before and this is what it looked like after. So now we have the wipers replaced, the headlights are now looking gorgeous and the interior is smelling lovely. We can get on with the big job of today's video and that is giving the whole car a huge polish. So to show you the difference between a polished section and an unpolished section, I decided to put a piece of tape down the middle and do the left side of the bonnet. And as we're going to see, the difference is absolutely unreal. Wanna see you with your hand Hands up, going straight to the sky, let me see you put your hands up. Now, after getting pretty excited as to how well that half of the bonnet came out after the polish, Joe and I could then get on with doing the rest of the body panels of the car. Now, this did take us absolutely ages, but as you're going to see, it is so worth it for the end result. Told you twice that we only got one life, stay up. Guys, just look at how shiny these body panels are after the polish. I mean, it is absolutely night and day and has definitely transformed this Astra. So ladies and gents, have you seen more of a transformation of paint than with this Astra? Apparently, voxel reds of this era are very known for fading. And as you can see, the polish has just made it look absolutely brand new. And I am actually, I'm in disbelief at how well it's come out. So that is a very good and it's gonna help us resell the car. We do also have a whole list of jobs to get on with. I'm gonna put it on the screen now, just so that you know what we're going to be doing for the rest of this video. So let's get on with those jobs and hopefully make this Astra even more sellable. The first job I tackled from this list was renewing the plastics with the heat gun. Now, I don't really know how this works, but as you can see from this transformation, the plastics went from an old faded gray to a newer looking darker gray. The next thing to do was to fix this scratch on the rear driver side arch. And to do this, we masked off a load of the paintwork and went over it in a very similar red paint. And as you can see, it didn't come out too bad. After that, Joe and I went about cleaning the absolutely filthy engine bay. So isn't the Astra now looking absolutely fantastic? The paintwork is looking great, again, thanks to that polish. And the plastics, these have really come back to life since hitting them with the heat gun. And under the bonnet is also now looking great thanks to that clean that we've done. So yeah, it's definitely added some value, all of this TLC we've been given the car. But let's move on to the next job. And the next job is of course, replacing both the front and the rear number plates because they are looking very old and degraded. A new set of number plates will just make the car look that 
that much newer. We are also going to be doing a service in a second. And then the last job is removing that dent on the passenger side front door. And then I think we'll be finished. So let's get on with it. Now, as for fixing the dent in the passenger side door, I started off by removing the door card and then Joe and I worked together to try and take this dent out. I heated up the metal of the door with the heat gun and he tried to pull out the dent with the suction cup. And we managed to get out a decent amount of this dent, but not all of it. We tried for ages and we just couldn't get all of it out. I even looked into replacing the door with another one, but I couldn't find a red Astra door for the life of me. So unfortunately, this was the best that we could do. As for the service, we started off by changing the spark plugs. After the spark plugs, it was onto the air filter. When getting the car up for the oil service on the ramp, I discovered that it actually had a brand new exhaust from the cat back, which I didn't know about, which should add some value on the listing. After draining the oil, I then took out the old oil filter and as you can see, it definitely needed changing. The final part of this service was fitting the new cabin filter and after that was done, we were finished. Quit asking me questions. Yeah, I know you, but we ain't friends. Quit asking me questions. Yeah, we in this section, but you can't get in. Quit asking me questions. Yeah, I got the new Chrysler, it's blue with the tent. Quit asking me questions. I'm tired of these questions. Ask me questions, I'm one of my questions. So ladies and gents, that is it. The 1.8 Beast, the Mark IV Astra has now had all of the work done to it that we're going to do to try and sell it. The paintwork, I think is definitely the highlight. It is looking beautiful since we've done that polish. It is just ready for sale and hopefully we can get some big money for this car. We're now going to go inside and just check how much we've spent on it. So here we are at our whiteboard with all the costs. As you know, the price of the car was 170 pounds. We spent 30 pounds on insurance, getting it back. 14 pounds on petrol, 59 pounds on the stuff we needed for the polish, so like the pads and the polish itself. 33 pounds for the wipers, 46 pounds for all of the service parts. And finally, I gave my mate two Stellas for the number plates. Um, so in total, we have spent 351 pounds and 36 pence plus two Stellas on getting this car to the state that it is now. That is very cheap. We have an opportunity to make some serious cash here. I think we're going to put it up for around 1.8 and just see if anyone bites. So with that said, I then began to make the Facebook ad with all of the selling points and some beautiful pictures of the car. And then we waited. One eternity later. It has now been a whole month since we posted the Facebook ad for the Vauxhall Astra. And before I start, I want to let you know about another car that I have added. We have spent 50 pounds on an MOT, which brings a total up to 401 pounds and 36 pence and two Stellas that we have spent on this car, which is still pretty good in my book. Now the car started off at 1800 pounds, as you know, and I soon realized that that was far too much money for one of these. So I brought it down gradually and it now is sitting just under 1000 pounds, which means we still have room to make a lot of profit. Later that evening, I managed to find a buyer who agreed to the price of 845 pounds. And the only condition was that I delivered the Astra to to his house. So ladies and gents, the Astra and I are now here in Tadley and I've actually delivered the car to the new owner. The new owner is over here, it's called Mark. Hello Mark. Hello, and um, basically Mark's gonna take it out for a test drive and uh, fingers crossed, the Astra has a new home. So Mark absolutely loved the Astra as you can see and all that was left to do was to shake on it and just like that, the Astra was sold. It's great success. So guys, I'm now back here at the unit and it is safe to say that that was a very successful flip. We sold the car for 845 pounds, only spent 400 pounds on it. So that is 445 pounds of pure profit. So I'm very happy with that. Now I am gonna leave the video here, ladies and gents. So if you did go on to enjoy, make sure to smash that like button Button and click that subscribe button if you haven't already because we have lots of exciting content to come and let me know down in the comments what you think of this flip and I'll catch you guys in the next one.